Good morning, gang. Today is Thursday, May 28th, and it's not just any Thursday. It is the final bow tie Thursday of the school year because, as you know, next week, Thursday, one week from today, is our last day of school. I have a lot of thoughts on that. Um, I know you have a lot of thoughts on that, but I ain't wearing a bow tie on the last day of school. By the way, speaking of the last day, thank you um, for all of your responses on what we should do. I really enjoyed the ideas. It seemed like the general consensus was some sort of like Zoom or Meet or some sort of digital get together. Um, so I'm going to work on that and work out the details and get back to you on that. If you have other ideas though, please holler at me. Um, let me know. Our country of the day today is, we're jumping around the world now because we only got a few days left. So it is Laos. Laos in Southeast Asia, going back to our first regional unit, um, is the only landlocked country in Southeast Asia. Remember landlocked means surrounded by land on all sides. Um, roughly two thirds of the people living in Laos are Buddhist or practice the Buddhist religion, another religion that we learned about in the uh, beginning of the year. Remember kind of Buddha's way of finding the middle way, finding that middle path, finding balance in life, which I think is important, especially right now, trying to find that balance in that middle way. Uh, and on account of most um, of Laos being Buddhist, most males actually spend time serving in a Buddhist monastery at some point in their life, not necessarily as monks, but just serving and helping out in the Buddhist monastery. Um, it's also common that when they um, sit on the floor to eat that they make sure to tuck their feet behind them because it's rude to point your feet at people, which I think makes sense. Yeah, feet are weird and gross. Um, oh, wildlife. Um, it's home to, home to the largest deadly snake in the world, the king cobra. Yeah, so we got that going for us. Um, today, on to today anyway. Um, I hope yesterday was good for you. I hope you're able to pick a country. It looked like almost all of you were. And then you were able to start doing a little bit of research on your country based on the four income levels. Um, just a quick note on that. Just make sure that on the slides that you're working on, if you see like little red X's or little red text, um, like for example, there might be generic text that says country name and it's in red, that's where you're supposed to delete that text and type in your country name. Or if you see a little red X, that's where you're supposed to go ahead and do your typing. You can delete the red X's and things like that. You don't need to keep them in there. Uh, but today, day two, hopefully you kept up with day one yesterday. Today, day two, uh, a little more heavy lifting today. Um, there is a screencast that you're actually going to watch as a part of the journal video. So if you did the journal first, you've already done this part. Please watch that screencast. It is linked for you in the journal question. It is super important that you watch that because I go into a lot of depth about what today's main task is, which basically is going to involve learning a little bit about the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. If you remember um, back when we were all together, we watched a video about the United Nations um, and what the UN does. Um, and in that video, actually, they were talking about uh, the creation of the Sustainable Development Goals. And we also did that with our breakout box way at the beginning of the year. But at any rate, you're going to learn a little bit about the Sustainable Development Goals. There's a link from FlowCab. It says link here, click me. Um, yeah, click the links, people. We don't just put them and we don't just highlight them and put the links in there just because we've got nothing better to do with our time. There are resources for you to use. So click those links. You can learn about the goals. Um, and then after you learn about the goals, um, you are going to predict which of the 17 goals, and they're listed on the slide there for you. You're going to predict which of those 17 goals do you think your country um, needs to work towards the most, just based on whatever you know about your country right now. It's just a hunch, just a guess. You're just making a prediction. Don't worry about right or wrong. Then on the next slide, you're going to figure out basically what the UN says, because the UN says, all right, every country in the world, here's the 17 goals. Here's how you're doing. Here's what you need to work on. You're going to pick the top few that you think are the most important for that particular country. Again, this is up to you. Um, this is all explained in the screencast as well. And then you're going to highlight the one that you think is the most important because that one that you highlight, you're going to do a little bit of research on it. You're going to learn a little bit more about what that goal means and why it's important. And you're going to have to tell me what it is and why it's important. Uh, and then you are going to work on your superhero. That's right. Now that you know who your enemy is, AKA the goal that is the most important, you are going to select some superpowers for your superhero or heroine, um, being a female superhero. Um, at any rate, Again, the most important part is identifying the challenges your country is facing or the goals that they most work towards and learning about those. The fun part is picking the superpowers to fight for those goals, um, but make sure you're doing the heavy lifting on the front end. Um, so that would be completing day two today. If you haven't completed day one or you haven't started, it's not too late. Start today. I wouldn't put this off. Trust me, it's going to end up being more work than you think. If you're like, oh, I just got to create a superhero. I can do that easy peasy next week, Monday morning. No, don't put it off. Try and keep with the schedule. Work a little ahead if you need to. You can fall a little behind, but don't simply do nothing. And if there's anything I can do, please reach out to me. 
email me, send me a message, let me know how I can help. Um, again, this should be a fun project for you, right? There is a little bit of research. There is some learning. After all, that's why we're here. Um, but hopefully you can have a lot of fun with it as well. Um, so anyway, that's really all I've got for now. Um, being the last bow tie Thursday of the world, I, or not of the world, uh, of the year, I suppose it's time for me to take that off and I can loosen up a little bit. Um, I hope you are doing well. Again, please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions, any concerns, or if there's anything that I can do for you. Remember to be bold, be kind, and make good choices. See ya.